What's up, saxophone players? So you find yourself grooving real hard in the key of B flat and in the key of F. sudden Mr. Guitar Man shows up. Key of E! Best key ever! Yeah! And now you're like, oh golly. I haven't worked out all my cool stuff in the key of E concert. Okay, what do you do? If you're playing alto, we're going to focus on the key of C sharp. And if you're playing tenor, we're going to focus on the key of F sharp. I'm going to do both of those on alto saxophone. Today, because I am selling my tenor. It's going through an intermediary, which is my local music store. Cause I know that some people don't really want to, they don't feel comfortable buying stuff directly from a seller when it comes to stuff like this. So I want to give you an opportunity to even be able to head up to the music store if you're in the area and try it out along with over $2,000 worth of accessories with this saxophone. But at any rate, we're going to go over our concert E minor pentatonic blues and this is going to get you sounding amazing playing rock gigs in the key of e on both alto and tenor so like i said all the stuff i'm going to show you is going to work for alto and tenor so let's get to it i'm going to assume that at this point you are familiar with your major scales in all 12 keys and your minor scales in all 12 keys but that won't really matter so much because we're going to focus on this pentatonic and for this this gives us C sharp. So let's play through that. It's one, flat third, four, five, flat seven, and one. I want to show you what I do on the bottom of the saxophone to facilitate the technique, which is low C sharp to low B. When I play this, I use this line that divides my finger into thirds. This is my anchor point right here. So instead of playing it like this, I'm playing it like this. I play the C sharp like that. I can get to the C sharp and the B very easily. Piece of cake. When I'm playing the blue scale, I'm going to add a G natural into that pentatonic. <laughs> If you are a fan of the Lethal Weapon movies, you are familiar with David Sanborn. And he has this lick, one of my favorites. I recently put out my saxophone sound development book. And in this book, I cover a multitude of things. There are five points of interest that are more important than the others. And in this case, we're going to focus on vibrato. Whenever the vibrato starts out strong and finishes to nothing, I call this a vibrato cadence. Excellent thing to use in a rock setting. We just took a look at a better technique for addressing the left hand pinky keys. Now let's take a look at addressing the palm keys. We want to be real rock and roll about this. So I have in the palm keys, after I play my open C sharp, I go up to an E and then I have an F sharp. So for E, I can play that using just the palm F key. Sounds like this. Ooh. 
And when I go to F sharp, all I do, boom, I add the high F sharp key. It's really, really easy. Now, obviously, you want to make sure that the intonation isn't wonky. But this is a beautiful type of guitar, one finger type technique that you see these amazing rock guitarists do. We can incorporate that type of technique to saxophone. So you probably thought, oh man, I got to play in C sharp. This is going to be a disaster. C sharp is actually one of the easier rock keys to kind of play in because everything is mostly on the front of the horn or we can kind of one finger our way around some really cool rock licks. So let me just kind of riff around a little bit using what I just talked about in the key of C sharp. <laughs> I got my Spaceman shirt here, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys like saxophone stuff, I do have an Amazon affiliate link. You can pick up a nice, cool mug like this. You can pick up a bunch of saxophone shirts. There are some really, really nice things that are there that I'm going to be getting pretty soon. I think there's a clock and there's some Lisa Simpson stuff and all kinds of stuff. I will post a link in the description for stuff like this. It's very cool. Okay. So once I get to that F sharp, then I can go to G sharp. I play one, two, three, side C. For altissimo B, I'll either play middle D and overblow it, or I'll use the E flat key with C. And then from here, I can go to the altissimo C sharp by playing just one. That altissimo E, just five. All right, so for you tenor players out there that are playing this in the key of F sharp, you can do essentially the exact same thing on the bottom of the saxophone using that, that top divider into thirds of my pinky. So that way I can move much more easily. And look at my wrist. It's more like I'm moving my wrist and anchoring my finger much more comfortable way of playing that C sharp to B. C sharp, B, E, and then F sharp. So if we were in the F sharp, this would be F sharp, A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. <laughs> the blues scale, I just add the flat five. <laughs> So if you like this kind of stuff and you want to support the channel, ladies and gentlemen, you can buy me a piece of cake. It's like a Kickstarter, Patreon type of program. You make a small donation and that helps the channel grow. If you really want to help the channel grow and you like this kind of stuff, you like this instrument, you can make purchases through my link. I have an affiliate link with Woodwind Brasswind. That is the thing that really helps this channel grow the most and it allows me to be able to put together this kind of stuff. I have my Altissimo books for alto sax tenor sax available. I also have my All Things Diminished book for all instruments, and I have my most popular saxophone sound development book that is available for all saxophones. So those links will be in the description below. And like I said earlier, my tenor saxophone is for sale. Today is a big holiday. I'm going to try and put this video out today and then tomorrow the music store is closed today. I'm going to post that video advertising that saxophone. So if you're watching this today, you can probably get the jump on someone else that wants to pick up that saxophone. Alrighty, that's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in. See ya! All right, so if you... Oh. <laughs>